The journey to my first 5K continues thanks to my friends at Fit to Run, which is where we are today, their Tampa location at International Mall. I have the store manager, Abby, here with me. Good morning. Good morning. I'm excited to be here. I've already been fitted for the shoes. I've been running and walking, trying to do as, as best as I can. But one of the big things I think people are interested in, and I think it motivates people, I think it helps people when they're on their journey, is apparel. Absolutely. Huge industry right now. Talk about what you, you should look for in apparel. So the important thing about running apparel is that you get something that's moisture wicking. So a big thing with runners, especially in Florida, is mm -hmm. that we all sweat. <laughs> so if you buy apparel that has the wrong materials, you end up keeping that moisture close to your body, which causes chafing or hotness, all those different things. So you're going to be looking for something that's moisture wicking to help kind of breathe the fabric. And the good news is there are a lot of companies that I think that are seeing that this is what people are looking for. One of them being Nike. You're actually wearing a pair of yes. tights, which I didn't realize there are running tights now. There are running tights now. The world is changing. So the tights that I'm wearing right now is called the Nike Epic Lux tight, which is luxurious as it says in the name. So they're a very soft material, but yet also has their fabrication dry fit in it, which I'm sure everybody has heard of, to help the material breathe when you do sweat. Okay, I also like the pockets that you had in them because I was asking like, I need a place for my key and for my phone. Absolutely, so most of the apparel pieces that we sell have some sort of small pockets or large pockets mm -hmm. to be able to fit nutrition, a key, you know, sometimes your cell phone, just be able to carry those things with you on the run. Now you mentioned us being in Florida, we know that it gets really hot. There are the few times and possibly when I do my first 5K in January, it will be a little cooler, maybe even cold. Talk about apparel for when it does get cooler because my first thought is I'm going to get hot once I'm running. Absolutely. So the key is layers. Okay. So you can start with a bunch of different layers, but as you run and as you're sweating more, mm -hmm. it's important to be able to shed those layers. So as long as you have a lot of warmth next to your body, okay. your body typically stays warmer. Now, a lot of the warmer pieces that we sell for the winter time, even in Florida, mm -hmm. have thumb holes in them just to be able to keep your hands nice and warm, even you know your arms nice and warm as well. Mm -hmm. So it's important to have long but also layers. Well, and I see this model right here, even the vest, I feel like it's a nice layer where it's not completely covering you. Exactly. So it keeps your body really, really warm. And even though it has a long sleeve underneath it, your body is warm. Let's get to the models that uh, we have today, too, because they're sporting some great looks, uh, especially for running. So I believe first up we have Ruthie. So explain what Ruthie is wearing and what you like about her. So yeah. Ruthie is doused in our beautiful athleisure apparel. So athleisure is athletic combined with a little bit of leisure pieces. So she is wearing some Viore and shape apparel. Um, so you'll see she has this beautiful layered um, tank high neck, which is very in, very fashionable, um, mm -hmm. with this very loose sweater to it, and then these beautiful joggers. Now the important thing about this is it's soft. So you're going to want to be comfortable, but yet if you're also going to you know, a yoga class or a run, you're locked and loaded and ready to go. Real quickly, explain the difference between athleisure and then what was the other term we called it? Athletic. Yes. So with running apparel, a lot of it's very technical. So the materials are maybe a little bit more form fitting, a little bit more technical, of just fabrics. Um, athleisure is going to be a little bit more comfortable. So typically it's more loose flowing. It's okay. designed to look like you're maybe going to the grocery store, but you can also go to yeah. the gym. Let's not forget about the men. What is Brandon wearing? So Brandon is also in Viore clothing. Brandon looks like he's actually going to the grocery store. Um, but the outfit that he's wearing is a two in one short, which is very important for men. You know, you have to be mm -hmm. kind of comfortable in that area, but also just very, very soft as far as the fabric is concerned. But ready to run as well. All right, and then our last model, Montana. So Montana is in a beautiful F2R running outfit. Um, so you'll see she's in a tank top, which is completely appropriate for Florida, both in the winter, spring, summer, and fall. Um, but it's layered with a nice, tight, mm -hmm. little bit of mesh, you know, meshes in with the fashion. So some athleisure elements there, but a beautiful layered sports bra. So strappy, she kind of likes to show mm -hmm. off the cute little fashion part of the bra. I love it. And real quickly before we wrap up, talk about the importance of an actual sports bra. So the sports bra is probably the number one most important thing, especially for women, I mean all mm -hmm. women. Um, you want to keep the girls nice and supportive. Now here at Fit to Run, we do measure you for okay. a sports bra. So we're able, if you come in, we can measure you just to make sure that we're recommending and you're getting the proper sports bra specifically for the needs that you do. So there's different bras designed for high impact, mm -hmm. which would be running, medium impact, and maybe some like walking or yoga, and then low impact as well. All right, Abby, thank you so much. Again, there are locations of Fit to Run all over the Bay Area, so whenever the weather changes, you need something different, this is the place to come. So excited you guys are helping me on my journey again in my course, first 5K. You're do it. We're so proud all of you. All right. Thank you, Abby. You're welcome.